GDB is great for debugging seg faults after the fact, but wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to check all of our memory operations for errors before they cause the program to crash? It turns out there is, and it's called Valgrind. Just a note on pronunciation, if you see it written, it looks like Valgrind, but it's pronounced Valgrind. Okay, so here's our test program. So first we define n to be 100, then allocate 100 integers, and then fill that array of integers up with data from 0 up to n. So we can go ahead and compile that program. So GCC, Valgrind demo, C dash O. And now we can go ahead and run Valgrind on it. So we run Valgrind. And Valgrind, if you're running on your computer, you'll need to install it. It's already installed on the Halligan servers. And then we need to specify the name of the program. So in this case, Valgrind demo. Again, don't forget the dot slash, just like you were running it. It'll take a second to run, and then it prints out a bunch of information. So here we've got several different kind of errors. In fact, it says we've committed 75 errors, plus definitely lost 100 bytes of data. So we have some bugs to go fix. So the first error is that we have an invalid write of size 4 at this address. And this is not particularly helpful. It gives us the memory address where the error occurred. And so it's somewhere in main. So let's just add debugging symbols, just like we would for GDB. And recompile. And now we can rerun Valgrind. Uh, now, just, just like GDB, it gives us line numbers. In this case, it's corresponding to where the invalid write occurred. So we can go back and look at line 12. So somewhere here where we're actually trying to write into our array, uh, something is going wrong. One hint here is that it's zero bytes, so right after the just after the end, of a block of size 100 bytes. So if we thought we were allocating 100 integers, uh, we were wrong. We're only allocating 100 bytes. Remember that malloc only allocates a number of bytes, so we would need to multiply this by the size of an integer. So let's go ahead and try that again. We can recompile and rerun Valgrind. And we see that we have, in fact, fixed that error. Uh, and in fact, there were 75 of those errors because the first 25 writes were valid, and then the remaining 75 were off the end of the array. Now, though, it says that we've definitely lost 400 bytes in one block. So let's see what's going on here. It says we can rerun with leak check equals full to see the full details of this memory that we've lost. So let's go ahead and do that. And now we get a new information block here that says that 400 bytes in one block were definitely lost and they were allocated by malloc, of course, which was called from main uh, on line 8 of our code. So of course, it's this memory on line 8 that we're losing. So we need to make sure that we actually free that memory before we exit the program. So we can add a call to free and free up the memory. And let's go ahead and recompile and rerun. And now Valgrind reports that all heap blocks are freed. There's no leaks possible in our code. And that we now have no memory errors, which is exactly what we want. A couple other situations that might come up. If, for example, you allocate some memory and then you reallocate it again. So let's say that we fill A with data and then we reallocate A with some new data. We still free it at the end, um, but as we'll see here, we definitely lost 400 bytes, it says. Uh, and it was lost, again, at line 8. So this memory here gets lost. The second allocation gets freed later, so that's OK. But we would need to make sure that we freed the memory before we reallocate or reassign pointer A.
And now if we do that, we see that we've got two allocations and two frees. So every allocation that we made was also freed up and that no leaks are possible in this code. So going forward, the auto grader is gonna be checking that your code is Valgrind clean. That means it doesn't have any invalid memory accesses, reading off the ends of the array and things like that, and that it frees up all of the memory that it allocates. But you don't have to wait until the auto grader tells you that you're wrong. Go ahead and run Valgrind yourself and learn from the things that it tells you and write good code even before you submit.